What's up guys, it's Cathalian, and um, so I'm, I'm at CES here in Las Vegas, and last night we did the, uh, the NVIDIA conference where they announced their new mobile chip. It's the Tegra K1. Um, they, didn't, they didn't go with the route of calling it Tegra 5. They, they, it's, it's got the Kepler technology in it, which is basically a desktop GPU, so they went with calling it the, the Tegra K1, and this was a pretty big announcement for a few reasons, and I'm going to try to go over them very quickly so this doesn't end up being a 20-minute video on why I'm super excited about um, this chip. So, first of all, the Tegra K1 has 192 CUDA cores in it, which is essentially shader cores, and you can compare that to the 72 that is in um, your Tegra 4 chip. And it's going to come in two flavors. It's going to come with a uh, either an A15 um, ARM CPU, which is a pretty standard dual core, uh, or it's going to come with NVIDIA's custom dual Denver CPU, which will run up to 2.5 gigahertz and will be 64-bit architecture, which is pretty huge. Um, that's pretty much a big deal in, in mobile technology, the 64-bit architecture. And they actually showed for the first time Android running on a 64-bit architecture, so it, a certain nerds in the audience got how that was a big deal and how um, having Denver not be a brick was amazing and you know I was really impressed by it uh, the the performance that we're gonna see from from the new chip from Nvidia is uh, it's gonna be above what you got from say your Xbox 360 or PS4 uh, the GPU absolutely overshadows what those last gen consoles could do and it, this from a CPU perspective it also beats both of them um, so yeah, that's really exciting, especially since it's built on Kepler technology, so it's going to be able to do cool things like DX11, and uh, more importantly, it's going to be able to run Unreal Engine 4, which is uh, the the next-gen engine from Unreal. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, like the majority of games that you've played in the last gen ran on Unreal Engine 3, and it was a really cool engine but Unreal Engine 4 is absolutely phenomenal, and they actually showed uh, Unreal Engine 4 running live on the Tegra K1 chip, and it was really impressive. Um, things from uh, like HDR, Bloom, uh, Soft Shadows, uh, real-time reflections, it, it was really impressive. I, they showed a few demos, and I'll have those real here for you guys so you can check out a few clips. I only, I got, I got footage with my handy cam, so I did the best I could, and um, I was I was really impressed. So that's that's on the K1 chip, and we're probably going to start seeing products on that within the next few months. I know that they're probably going to announce a great deal at the, the GTC, which is their personal conference. That's that's Nvidia's show, so they're going to announce their products then. Would be my guess. Um, also, they showed off um, the the Tegra K1 working um, in automobiles. Uh, they're going to start integrating. Uh, the Tegra products into um, upcoming cars. I got to ride in one, and I'm going to be doing a test drive on on one on uh, I believe it's Wednesday evening. I get to test drive the um, BMW i3, but um, basically they're wanting to integrate the the K1 chips into vehicles and have things like like your dashboard where you can um, you can customize like, the exact look and feel and have this photorealistic. Um, um, gauge for for your speed and all your stats on your car, and that's I thought that was really cool. My buddy with me is a, a big car guy, and he he pretty much had a cargasm over it. Um, uh, <laughs> outside of that, they showed uh, how it would work as far as um, helping you uh, you drive, and they showed a demo which I was really impressed by, where it was uh, you know you're driving down a street and it would recognize where the lanes are and it would recognize the cars in front of you and um, basically make your driving experience safer and, uh, and smoother. So I think that's really cool that they're going to be bringing the Tegra technology into the automotive realm. Um, very exciting stuff. And uh, I hope to hear more about that while I'm at the show. I'm going to get some uh, some demos for you um, at the show tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, so, you know, come back, look for plenty of demos on the K1 chip. Look for demos on it working um, on the automotive side of thing. And uh, also uh, 
that test drive that I'm going to do on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to try to have a, a lot of lengthy video on that, um, really see um, how it's affecting the whole experience. I got to drive in one of the cars on the way back from the airport, but I didn't get any video on that because I had just arrived. But, but yeah, I'm here in Vegas. It's my first time. Mm. Nothing crazy yet. Uh, there are breasts everywhere. Um, I mean, just just everywhere. You walk off the plane and then it's just tits. Tits, tits and technology. So, and what else do you need? Anyways, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next fucking video. And this is me signing off from Las Vegas.